Hello, uh, new vlog week. Um, I have a lot of energy to make art, but then I have no ideas. <laughs> that is that is my current state of being. Um, I have a lot to catch up on with work, which I am doing. Um, but I also want to put more items into my shop, um, more drawings, more stickers into both my shops. And I, I am stuck. I have, hmm, I have to figure this out. Um, but welcome to the vlog this week. <laughs> Okay, so this week I'm trying to get back on track with art and editing and all that stuff. I'm currently editing stuff for work. I need to make like a sizzle thing by next week. So I'm kind of setting up project files, all this stuff. It's a bunch of like multi-cam type stuff. Doing that, it's going great. <laughs> and, but also while I'm doing that, I want to print more stickers and I'm trying to make more art. It's May, so it's mermaid. Um, drawing some mermaids here and stuff to put into the shop. Doing a lot of stuff. Just trying to just get it all done. Um, you're gonna see a lot of time lapses in this vlog about that stuff. So let's do it. Where's my waveform? Where's my waveform? I made a multicam thing. Where's my waveform? I'm gonna show you guys real quick. You just go to somewhere up here. Sequence, you go to sequence, and then you go to, where are you? Render audio, and it's gonna do it. It's gonna do it. So while I'm doing this, I'm doing this, <laughs> cause this is gonna take a few minutes. So utilizing my time to make a sticker. All set up, ready to print. <laughs> I, I'm getting a new printer because I'm tired. I'm tired of this one just not doing what I needed to do. How did it go from like bright orange mermaid to this? Like, what is that? Why? And it's with the yellow. Something's going on with the yellow. <sighs> anyway, that printer, this printer that does this is like six years old now. They don't make it anymore. Um, it's time, it's time for me to get a new one. I was trying to hold out to get another one that also prints 11 by 17. Even though I don't print that size very often, I just always liked having that ability to do so. But with the chip crisis and everything, can't find those without people jacking up the price. The same reason why I can't get a new camera. So, 
So yeah, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and get a new printer that I can get now that supposedly can do like the high quality stuff that I need. And in the meantime, while this is doing another project, still, still working, but might as well multitask on this. Okay, print it again on regular paper, not wasting my sticker paper. And it's fine, it's actually the right colors, except, okay, I don't know if you noticed here. Actually, let me put this on paper. I don't know if you noticed here, you see the cheeks? That these are pink, pinkish, you know, blush cheeks. But at the top, it's really dark. And then it gets better here. So I don't, I don't know what's going on there where it's like misprinted here and then it self corrects. Again, gonna get a new printer. This is ridiculous. But I kind of want to use up all the ink in this printer because if I'm getting a new one, I might as well just use up all the ink I can for this one. So I'm not as mad about making mistakes today, but still. It's curious. I'm pretty good at putting the, the laminate on it now. This is not an issue anymore for me, so progress. Um, colors, still prints weird on the top. You see how much, how like I reversed the mermaid, but you see how there's a dark streak versus like here, how it's not there. So like these two mermaids I can't use to sell because they have like a dark streak in them. Solution is I'm gonna try to do a quick like black and white sticker design that I will place on the top here for the rest of the print. So that way, it doesn't matter if it's a dark streak because it'll be a black sticker. And then I'll get my mermaids at the bottom. That's the goal. Because even though I don't mind wasting this ink because new printer's on the way, I don't want to waste this paper. This paper is still very expensive. So gonna figure out other solutions. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to make a post office run, but I added the new sticker design onto the paper and printed it out. These are really cute, right? Awesome, love them. Why are these so much darker? That does not make sense. I did not change the print settings. So these should have come out as light as they were before. Adding that on the top shouldn't have affected this. Why? I'm still gonna cut these out because I have four really good stickers right here, but like, what is that? Why? Okay, so I can't figure out why the colors are printing that way. Maybe the printer really is on its last legs. I don't wanna waste this paper. Um, so I'm just gonna do my little black and white witches. I'm gonna just print those because black and white works. So I'm gonna keep doing that instead, instead of continuously wasting this other ink. I don't know, it's just, I don't know why it's not making the right colors. And maybe I'll just wait until I have the new printer because even then, of, of the ones I've printed, I've printed so many of these pages, I only have like four decent ones. And even then, two of the four are slightly, ever so slightly better colored than the other two, but these are like all acceptable range of like, this is fine. So I'll put up these four for sale, but until like I get my new printer, eh, on these color ones, even then I'm gonna wait until I get the new printer and make sure I could maybe do better. Maybe these will just be like bonus ones for like, if someone makes a big order, I'll just put in an extra sticker. Because I don't even then, like, it could be better. It could be better, and I want it to be better. Because that's just how I am. But I will make these black and white ones. Those will be up, so it's not all wasted.
Okay, exciting news for me, I'm going to a pole class. I'm going to a new studio, checking it out. They had a new student rate, so gonna experiment. I do wanna go to a bunch of new studios to figure out where I'd like to go a little bit more regularly. I don't know, just trying it all out. I'm excited to get back into my exercising. That was amazing. I am so tired. I am so rusty. My muscle strength and endurance is like, like I don't have it anymore. But the class, the moves, A plus. I, I have two more classes with the class package that I got with them. This was Cleo's Rock and Pull. Um, it is really far from where I live. Um, it's like a 30, 40 minute drive which is pretty far, it's pretty far. But the class was great. It was taught by Priscilla, who used to also be a protege at Beast Bund, and now she's a teacher here. So that was really cool. I, I have a lot of thinking to do. Cleo's does their packages where you kind of buy them in eight, in packages of eight, and the way they teach your courses, it's kind of like a term, like you learn the same song and routine for the eight classes. Um, and you could of course buy additional classes to pop in on other ones, but it's like you're learning a choreo, you're learning a song. And I do like that because you like actually learn the routine in the song. But I also like the idea of being able to pop in into different classes. Hmm. I don't know yet. But this was fun. I like this experiment. I might try a few other pole places to kind of well round myself. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. But that was really fun. Hmm, I miss Paul, it was so good. My kid's getting groomed today. She needs it, she's a stinky girl. She's not happy, but she's fine. She's just very vocal. First, hi. So fresh, so clean. <laughs> waddle, waddle. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Panini. <laughs> she gets sweets.
fix my yellow problem. I fixed it. I fixed it. Um, turns out the yellow cartridge was mixed with half black, which is why it was printing black in the yellow. I swapped it out. I was like, you know what? Something's weird. This doesn't make any sense. Why? I put in a brand new yellow cartridge. Now, in the beginning of the week, I was lamenting, no ideas, no inspiration, and just kind of pushed through it. And then I ended up making a lot of things, which is great. Um, I also, I just wanted to share um, a couple of things that I was researching and looking at to kind of like re-inspire me, even though none of the things I made looks like the stuff that inspired me. Two of those things are books. I recently got this book from my wedding registry, which is a fashion illustration outfit of the day. Um, what's the word? When it's a bunch of people who come together and put something in an anthology. That is the word I was looking for. Um, it's a outfit of the day uh, anthology for a bunch of different illustrators. I will show a flip through in a moment, but it's just, it's really cute and stylish. There's a lot of different artists. I love seeing like the different ways to portray different looks. And it was very motivating. I love drawing people. It's like my favorite thing, but it's unique different styles and vibes that I really, really like. So yeah, this, this helped me out this week. Um, I'll link to it and the links in the description on Amazon. That's where this came from. So love it. It's by at Pi Comic International, I believe or nope, um, at pi underscore comic underscore art. It's different on here, but when I look, they like redirect it. So check that out, highly recommend. It's really cool. The second book I'm even more excited about. It's Weightless by Genevieve Bowers. This book, oh my gosh. She had a Kickstarter for the first version of it. It was like a hardcover. I missed out on that. And then she just did a second printing in a soft cover. And it is some of the most gorgeous art. I've just, ugh, ugh. I also will do a flip through here. It is just, it's sci-fi, it's fantasy, it's all like beautiful black girls. Um, it's what I wish my art could look like one day. Um, I want to maybe start taking some classes online, tutorials, to maybe brush up on my like painting skills because I don't draw like this. I don't paint like this, but I want to because it's just oh, so inspiring, so pretty, and I love it. And the best thing about this book, she has little sections where she's like, this is how I do this. No qualms about like sharing that information um, and just like, it just looks great and I appreciate that in here. I'm gonna try to dabble in it. I definitely didn't do that this week. I got inspired and then I did a lot of graphic design stuff. So I don't know, sometimes it's just how brains work, but I definitely want to partake in more art that looks like this. Um, and I wanted to just share that with you guys. Go check it out. Her Instagram is... Her Instagram is at GDB. Uh, check it out. It's so good. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And with that, I'm probably gonna print out some more stickers. 
um, get that ready to be put into the shop next week. And I will see you guys next week.